couldn't see n- more than n- and he couldn't say n- what's n- he is now apologizing, and we're going to find out if that's enough for Spotify, the company that has an exclusive distribution deal with him. Jim, this is all coming to light because of the recent controversy about anti-vaccine rhetoric on Rogan's podcast. Some artists uh, decided to quit the service. One of them, India Ari, pointed out this video, this compilation video, and, and pointed out that the language Rogan has used around race in the past is just as, or maybe even more problematic than his rhetoric about vaccines. This compilation, this this use of the N-word so many times in the past may be too much even for some of his defenders to bear. But here is, in Rogan's own words, of his apology today i'm making this video to talk about the most regretful and shameful thing that i've ever had to talk about publicly there's a video that's out that's a compilation of me saying the n-word it's a video that's made of clips taken out of context of me of 12 years of conversations on my podcast and it's all smushed together and it looks horrible even to me now i know that to most people there is no context where a white person is ever allowed to say that word, never mind publicly on a podcast. And I agree with that now. I haven't said it in years. Trying to, trying to diffuse this, Jim, and whether it's going to work is anybody's guess. We've been reaching out to Spotify, asking for comment. Spotify pr- promotes itself as just a platform, you know, where anybody can put up their podcast. But with Rogan, they're paying Rogan uh, tens and tens of millions of dollars, reportedly $100 million for exclusive rights to his content, including these old episodes full of him using the N-word. Now, uh, listeners have noticed that several dozen episodes have been taken down. Apparently, those are the episodes that we've heard clips from today. So Spotify might be on a cleanup mission trying to erase some of Rogan's past. But will the company continue to stand by him? That's an open question. We've not heard back from Spotify.